brought together 21 uh, artists, um, national artists from India who are mostly emerging artists, and then a group of international artists from a number of different countries. One of the things that's been really exciting about this particular residency is seeing the way that this group of artists has come together very quickly as a community, a true community of um, creatives that are also committed to uh, serving their communities in a significant way. The theme for the International Artists Residency is what to do with difference in artists and art as a bridge. Um, it's, a, it's a huge topic, it's a, it's a broad topic, but with um, things that are happening around with um, whether it's your own daily life, whether um, at different levels, we see a lot of difference and often we're confused. We don't know what to do with it. Do we segregate it? Do we bring it together? And uh, we thought like, hey, why don't we focus on this and uh, bring the artists and, uh, and kind of discuss on that and delve into this theme. So in my uh, work this time, what I'm trying to show is the whole idea of uh, difference, but uh, yet what actually difference applies to different people. Sometimes what happens is when we are different, some of us, uh, we try to use that difference as a way to segregate things. So in my watercolor, I'm trying to depict uh, the whole idea of uh, segregation that leads to isolation and that leads to alienation. I primarily work with acrylic on canvas I am looking forward to uh, this uh, artist residency with Art for Change because I am looking for new subjects and simplifying my complex artwork in the short length of time to do work simpler. And I'm involved with a lot of community building in Indianapolis and I really appreciate what we've been learning about communities here and how other organizations and individuals are identifying communities and how to work with differences so that we can all come together. I've been working here with this residency helping some of the um, social media and marketing um, with photography um, and then I've been also changing my own practice a little um, working with imagery in different ways with dyeing fabric and leaving floral impressions on paper um, with different things such as beetroot and saffron. Um, exploring some of these ideas of highlighting difference and um, seeing how we can ask questions about um, noticing others, caring for others that are different and um, making sure we're um, noticing but also taking action as well um, with those who are different from us. So my practice is uh, observing the daily life of slums and in Art for Change I'm doing, uh, I'm just overcome my comfort zone, I'm playing with the, like uh, raw material and which are related to my works. So uh, in, uh, in my artwork I'm just trying to show uh, how do people say this kind of things. 
So the title of my all work is way of saying. I joined Art for Change uh, last year to help lead the team. I'm also an artist. I paint, I do ceramics, photography, and this year I'm working on a continuation from the 2018 residency, uh, exploring line, language, the subconscious mark making, um, and a little bit of collage. I am doing a series of paintings that will be displayed one in front of the other as an installation and it is of a woman and each painting gets progressively less and less detailed because the less we know someone the more we stereotype them and make assumptions. And I have been painting women here um, mostly and they're um, I've just been really impressed with the movement for the women here and the protesting and trying to stand up um, and make a difference. And so I am painting women that um, are different and that are not satisfied with their differences and are trying to change. residency I have been making um, boxes uh, out of digital prints that will be interactive for the audience meaning that there will be some element of where the audience can manipulate and move around a piece of plexiglass that is a cut out shape of a figure or perhaps use a um, a LED light that changes from red to green to blue and through this this will reveal different layers of imagery that I have superimposed on top of each other and can be revealed under different situations. I'm also exploring using magnets as well as um, iron dust too to be able to be an interactive component on top of my prints. Um, it's a bit complex just like the Indian culture is complex too and I've been very interested in this short amount of period of time um, about concepts of caste and, um, and uh, disability. For this residency I am making a small artist book uh, watercolor illustrations looking at that moment of connection between two people getting to know each other and particularly that moment of taking a step and taking that risk to meet someone else. I am working with uh, some wonderful uh, street brooms, shisha mirrors, and uh, fragments of sari silk. And we're putting it all together, and the common theme is trees, but I'm inverting them, turning them upside down, so that's a metaphor for seeing things differently. I run a residency program at the Harrison Center there, and so my role in this residency looks like bringing um, what I do normally for the residents in Indianapolis here to India. So I'm helping with some of the administrative things like writing artist bios, writing a concept note, and making a show poster, as well as um, making a small piece of work that connects my work in Indianapolis to the work being done here in India and the different communities and thinking about how communities shape us and how we shape the communities that we live in. So the piece questions uh, the idea of what is the difference between your body and my body. It also kind of plays and um, asks what is the difference between sensuality and sexuality or um, how is it that we can really not just touch but really touch each other. And for my work, I'm working with a different raw material and handmade paper and a different type of garbage, pollution, environment problems, climate problem, then slum area, 
and uh, so many kind of things I'm using in my work and uh, I will I will try to understand my way and understand to the uh, community, understand to the society and research family, so many things I, I will use. residency I am doing difference between uh, senior citizen and the young generation. So my work is uh, depict on especially for senior citizens. Nowadays uh, most of the new generation is uh, doesn't don't want to stay with their parents or grandparents. So actually they need each other. Actually I do uh, mixed media. I started with pencil and pen, then do I do acrylic colors, then I finished with the oil pastels. Most of the time I do like that. It represents sea. And though I don't uh, title my works, I work in a series, but, but during this residency I thought of like giving a title, a title uh, like seven seas. So the seven seas is believed to be like connecting the whole world. The basic idea of this work is getting people closer. Um, I am working on a portrait of the Art for Change community, um, the community of artists that I've come here with. And we're dealing with the subject of difference. And I felt like we had enough difference right in the room, so I decided to deal with that as a subject. And I usually work with uh, issues like women empowerment and like seeing what is happening in the country. I am working with a similar issue in the residency. And I use photography, painting, illustrations as my medium. And what I love about Art for Change is that it's given me the opportunity to experiment and to explore some new ideas, especially being in a new city, just taking in all of my surroundings and just the, the motions of the city is really enhancing my work and allowing me to make more complex images and layer lots of different imagery into my work, which I wouldn't normally be able to do at home. Uh, normally I work with acrylics. And because of the residency, the materials that I use and the techniques that I've tried have exploded. I have all these new tools to take home and use in my art practice there. But the most important thing that's happened here is the sense of community and my new understanding of my brothers and sisters all over the world. And the first piece I'm making for the residency, What to Do with Difference, is called Missing Girls. And it's a series of cyanotypes. Um, documenting um, baby girl clothes and the second piece I'm doing is called Lady Justice and it's a performance and a film installation and it's exploring the image of justice as a woman.